Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Pretty Hands My John Readings. It's 12 12, just so you know. Um, this reading will be for water signs, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer for the upcoming week of August 5th, 2019. We have Lionsgate Portal opening on the 8th. I'm excited. More intense energies, more change coming. Um, external stimulating the internal. Going within and making it happen. There's a plane flying by me, so I'll wait. Also on the 11th, Jupiter is going direct in Sagittarius. So you have luck coming out of bold gestures, bold moves, being yourself, being true to yourself. Right? It will be favored now. So it feels like just forward momentum, to be honest. And there's some other stuff happening too. I think Uranus is going retrograde, but we ain't talking about that. We're just talking about <laughs> my couple tidbits. What are the major themes for my water signs for the week of August 5th, 2019, please? Try to keep these brief. Eight wine knot, two bamboo duck. Ooh. Okay. Uh, both of those came together, so I'm gonna work with it. That happened in the fire signs we used to. We'll do it like this. Cause I feel like. Sometimes more cards come out. I got to honor that. Okay. So, first of all, angel number 823. Look that up, water sign. See if it resonates with you. You got... Uh, okay. The eight wine knot. About tying or untying. I think this is about karmic ties. We talked about this last week. Oh, yeah, because it was new beginnings require sacrifices. So, we'll see. Two bamboo duck partnerships relationship y'all this is august this is the energy that we're in i said this a couple weeks ago so it shouldn't be surprising that all these all these ducks just keep swimming on by and all this partnership but there's a karmic tie that you have yep there's a karmic tie karmic relationships could be stressing you out seven circles insect and you got the three wine earth so the three wine earth just made an appearance in the last reading for the first time in a while i think that's interesting seven circles insect again both of these are dual natured cards i think that's very interesting this is about spirituality though spirituality how you get your money spiritual ways of money coming to you spiritual ways some of y'all supposed to probably be doing spiritual work to be honest there could be a partnership too that is not productive a karmic partnership that is two people because the insect don't necessarily mean that you're getting stuff done it just means two people two two things together just making just moving around it don't necessarily mean you make it move you see what i'm saying it could be not productive at all three wine earth came out with this too so i think it's interesting that you have the spiritual this is a balance about the spiritual realm and being grounded here in the earthly realm too but making sure that your partnerships are both make sure that they reflect both productivity they're spiritually productive, bam. And you're still able to be creative and uh, remain grounded, right? So there needs to be stability in your partnerships as well as an element of spirituality. Yeah, we moving out of this karmic stuff. Like everybody is getting the same message. I keep telling y'all, another night. Ah, oh, mushroom came out in like all the readings. We're moving out of this. We're moving out of the karmic partnerships. It's not working no more, y'all. That's kind of done. So... Uh, to clarify the knot, we got another knot. Highly unusual occurrence. So these are, there's karmic ties here. There's karmic ties. And then another eight. Look at all these eight. Karmic ties. Unusual karma. Unusual karmic ties. Things out of the blue happening. An unusual partnership. So I feel like some of y'all, a lot of y'all are with people that y'all not supposed to be with. Or y'all are in karmic situation that you have outgrown that it's like it's done but y'all holding on to them it don't even make sense right you have the mushroom here underneath the duck so it's like okay an unusual partnership or something but with the knot it's like i don't even know if this is making sense i don't even know if the universe is like are you does this still resonate with you do you really feel good about this situation and it doesn't have to necessarily be romance either one bamboo peacock about being mature being a bigger person knowing your worth stepping into your sense of pride knowing who you are she also represents success 
right? But with setbacks later. So she's older. She's she's seasoned. She's been through some stuff. She's acquired some stuff, and she'll see a couple other obstacles, but it's all good because she has the maturity and the contentment, right? Peacock represents contentment too. <gasps> Night, yeah, there's only four of these. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, water signs, you have there's only four knots in the whole deck 144 cards, plus I leave in the blank cards. The I've never, ever, ever in hundreds of readings that I've done gotten three of the same back to back in a row. So, y'all yeah, have some heavy karmic ties that you have to transcend, you have to. You want your new beginnings with the new moon, but you have to be willing to make the sacrifice. You've got to be willing to cut stuff off. Something, that, there's some karma that y'all have to do away with. This ain't even making sense. Look at all these eights and twos, partnerships, karmic partnerships, karmic relationships. So then you got the sword, which about sacrifices, but making, cutting things off, severing things. It could be a job, it could be a person, it could be a way of life, it could be a lifestyle. Anything, school, it, eh, wow. But then you got it with the chrysanthemum, and which also came in the same reading as the peacock, all represent maturity, a fall flower. So you could have some issues with making these, with severing these karmic ties, right? It's hard, it's not easy. I know water signs, y'all are very emotional. So you may be very emotionally attached, invested in this situation, this job, this partnership, this businessship, whatever. And it's, it's hard, but it's karmic, right? You are literally blocking your own evolution, your own karma, because you are not severing something. Even if you sever it and it heals itself and it comes back or, you know, it could, that could be the case, but you have to, there's something that has to be un untied. There's something got to be undone. You got the chrysanthemum, which a guardian with the sword, right? So issues with that. And the solution is just to be mature. Be patient. Be soft with yourself. Right? Take things gently. The chrysanthemum is a flower of maturity, but it bloom, it's a late bloomer. That's okay. It doesn't bloom in the spring with all the other flowers. It's not supposed to. Don't worry about that. Go at your own pace. Be mature, but know who you are. Then we got the north card, I, I, which is predictable. Right? You may have to go into a little, little isolation, and that's going to cause you stress. I already know because they keep telling you another peacock. That y'all got this karmic situation and y'all not letting go of. And of course, it's, it's, it's going to stress you out. Trying to sever it is going to stress you out. Because you've probably been in it for so long that you don't even recognize what it's like to not be in it. One bamboo peacock again. Um, just about being mature. Seeing your words. Seeing what you already have at your own feet. You, this is you standing tall. Some of you are scared to let go of this common situation or these common situations. It could be a multiple aspect of your life because you, again, I just said that you've never stood alone. But look, she's standing alone and she looks good. She's mature. She is a grown woman. She ain't worried about nothing. She has her mirror. She She's looking around her. She's aware of her environment. She's assessing things before she allows them to walk up on her because she got a peacock. She got to protect that peacock. She has to protect herself. She has to protect everything she's worked for. So she's being aware of her environment and her surroundings. She's handling things in a mature way, in a grown-up way. Being honest with herself. Emotionally mature. Eight circles tiger. Being bold. Some of you could be dealing with the Aries or an authority figure. And that may be why it's so hard for you to cut this, this, this tie. It could be a grandpa, grandma. It could be an older person, period. Any person in authority that you're just trying to cut away from. That's, it's no... the. Here's the thing. The partnership has served its purpose. That's what you need to know. It's not that, you know, you made a bad decision necessarily or you're doing something wrong. No, it served its purpose. It came, you came together and whatever you were supposed to do, whatever you were supposed to learn or gather from it, the partnership, it has been gathered and it's time to move on. It's time to stand tall and be bold and be brave, even though it's, it's definitely coming with some difficulties and some stress and distress. Five Bamboo Lotus, the last card. I like this radical change. Being willing to be vulnerable. Being willing to look back on everything that you've accomplished, everything you've gained. Here's the thing people talk about the mud. We talk about getting stuff out of the mud, right? We make the mud seem like it's such a bad thing. No, it's not. The mud molds you. The, mold the mud helps you grow. It helps refine you and define you. 
you know, define you so that and help you find yourself so that you know who you are when you come out of it. How else will you know who you are? It builds character. So this is saying, even though you have to let go of this, you have to be brave and courageous and mature to let go of this karmic situation, break these karmic cycles, particularly in relationships, right? That's the focus of August for everybody. Realize that you came out of the mud. So, so what you naked? Because you came out of the mud. You clean. That's a, that's a, a benefit. That's a win. The mud has molded you. The mold helped get you to where you wanted to go. The lotus only grows in muddy water and it becomes beautiful and it thrives it's reaching the baby is reaching for more i know i came from mud. i know i'm i have literally no no shirt on my back but that still does not mean that i don't want better that still does not mean that i don't shouldn't reach for change or progress or evolution as soon as i said that a beautiful monarch just flew by so yeah wow i feel like some of y'all are just really 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 stressed out over this karmic situation and I think y'all know it. Water signs are freaking psychic. I think y'all know what it is. Y'all know that y'all need to sever it. But you're just so comfortable with it. And it's you just don't want to let it go. But you know you're supposed to. And it's stressing you out. And that's what the knot represents too. Like you, you know in your heart. But you won't let it go. Okay. Ooh. Pisces. East, angel number 82. Look it up, Pisces, see if it resonates with you. The sun rises in the east, right? You are the sun. That is your message, Pisces. You are the sun. You, not nobody else. You are the sun. Come from behind the trees. You think you need these trees to be something, to define who you are, to cast a shadow, to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? To have a, to have stability to support you but you don't need this tree the tree needs the sun not the other way around know that so anything the support system that you think that you need that you have to reduce yourself or hide behind don't do that be yourself rise above the trees the sun is rising this is the east this is the morning sun this is new beginnings for you but you have to rise from behind this this thing that you're holding on to because you think it's supporting you or you think you need it right also look at the winds of change the currents around the sun the sun emits its own energy it does not need anybody else's energy it just has to know that it's the sun so what the winds are blowing and all of that that ain't got nothing to do with the sun so recognize pisces that you are the sun i don't care what partnerships that you need to sever i don't care what changes you need to make i don't care you the sun and once you know that everything else will fall into place and everybody else will know that but you gotta know it first All right, Cancer. Six circles, Peach. Angel number 615. Look it up, Cancer. See if it resonates. Okay, so we got the Peach card. Beauty, abundance. This is romance. For y'all, it's a romantic situation that needs to be severed. Y'all already know it. You have more than enough. You're doing good. Look, she's doing good by herself. Does this mean that she has to be single and that she's like, oh, I'm independent. I don't need no man? No, that's not what the Peach is saying. She's saying she is abundant. <clears throat> She's in her feminine beauty, her romance, luxury. But all of that comes with stability. If something has six legs, it ain't going nowhere. This also brings monetary stability too. So for some of you, this is a job situation where you're creating more than enough. You're finally generating more than enough after having severed something though. What did I tell you last week? It takes sacrifices. Letting go of the things that no longer serve you so that you can step into your abundance and have plenty more than enough to share and so that you can attract the romance that you want the peach exudes sexual and divinely feminine energy what are you saying so don't worry about that don't worry about being broke or single family situations more than enough stability all of that is going to clear your home life beauty bringing money and beauty and stability to that all that's gonna come once you know who you are what you have, what you have to offer, and once you cut the karmic ties, y'all. Angel number 616. One more time, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Two wine sword. Angel number 220. Look it up, Scorpio. See if it resonates. 
<laughs> Severin, y'all got just the straight out sword. So for y'all, Scorpio, it's something that you just need to be done with. Like, I'm not going to lie and say, oh, you know, maybe it'll regenerate and all that. No, we didn't get the card of regeneration. There's just something that you just need to be done with. And Scorpio, this could be something that you're dealing with internally, too. Remember I said that the North card was there and the not, so it's like all this uh, anxiety and uh, isolation and uncertainty. That could have been you, Scorpio, because Scorpios are, you know, the darkness, right? They have the dark energy as well, dark water energy. So they can be, you know, depressed. They can be... Um, you know, go to the rule of the realm of Pluto, right? But there's something that you just need to sever with. It's specifically, it's a relationship, a partnership of some kind. Like I said, job, romance, friendship, you know what it is, Scorpio. It just needs to be done because it's stressing you out. And it's stressing you out because it, it's karmic. I just saw 555. Five, five. So it's stressing you out because it's karmic. And you know it, Scorpio. Your emotions run deep. You are psychic. You know it. But you hold on to it for their benefit or because you feel bad, right? Because you want to be nice, but at the same time, because you're empathetic or you're an empath, but you're realizing that you're hurting yourself, you're suffering. So you just need to sever it. You just need to cut it loose, be free, and then allow the universe to bring to you that which you deserve. All right, y'all. Thank you for listening. Have a good week. Peace out.